Hey guys, it's Kellyanne here from The Accidental Entrepreneur, and I show Gen X women how to look opportunity right in the eyes, right? And take opportunity by the horns. I show them the fastest and simplest way to start an online business from scratch. And today we're going to talk about, we're going to talk about shoes, we're going to talk about sales, two things that are super duper important to me. Um, so how many of you out there, okay, and I want you to let me know in the comments, how many of you out there have spent weeks, months, years, okay, putting together products, uh, offers, programs, right, doing all the things, and then trying to find people to buy them from you? Right, you've created, you've spent months in creation mode, and then you spend a year, and I know some of you are out there and no shame. We've all been there because you're missing one critical step. So how many of you are out there? Okay, let me know in the comments. Just can't make a sale. Chances are you're suffering from what I call shoehorn syndrome. And shoehorn syndrome, okay, is when you get so pumped about your course or your program or your product that you just blindly deep dive into creation. You deep dive into creation mode without taking the time to learn if anybody needs what you're throwing down, okay? And then what do you have to do? You have to try to find someone to sell it to. That's called shoehorning people. And the reason this came up today is because I have a wedding coming up and I bought these shoes. You see these shoes, okay? So think of these shoes, okay, as the, the, the product, okay? My offer. I walked into the store and I saw these shoes and I fell in love. I fell in love with the shoes. First of all, they're sparkly and I'm a freaking crow. I love anything sparkly. Like if there's glitter out there, send it my way. I'm an 85 year old and a 50 year old body. Okay. So I saw these gold shoes. and like, I have to have them. I have to have them. So I started to jam my foot in them. I'm like, oh, they're uncomfortable, but I can do it because I love these shoes so much. Now think of my foot as the what? As your customer. So I bought the shoes, spent all kinds of money on the shoes, came home and realized, oh, holy, these shoes are the most uncomfortable shoes. I tried everything to get my foot into them. Okay. I tried, I tried to stretch them. I Googled every tip and trick. I wore socks to them around the house. I was, I was actually, I'm like, listen, kids, tell my teenagers, I will pay you if you try to jam your big feet in these shoes and stretch these things out. I was desperate. Okay. I was desperate. I was trying to shoehorn my way into this shoe that I got super attached to. So when you try to find somebody to sell your product to, that's called shoehorning people. When you're trying to create demand for something that you spent hours and months and years developing, pretty much basically you're trying to jam just about anybody in your offer, just like I was trying to jam my foot, okay, into this freaking shoe. So instead of trying to focus on, okay, I have to find someone to sell this program or product to, how about I have to find people who need my program or product? Let's go and find a group of people who have a problem and let's create a program and a product to solve that problem, okay? So when you focus on finding a market and you focus on people who have a problem you can solve, Focus on what they actually need. Like, you know who they are, you know what they want, not what you think they need. Like I thought I needed those shoes, okay? You know where they hang out. When you know all this and you deliver on your promise, okay? That's when sales are going to become a little less frictionless. You have to turn that question of, okay, now I've spent all this time developing this, this product or service, this fantastic coaching offer, this consulting package, or this, you know, 12 months developing my vegan soap line. Now I've got to find some people to sell it to. That's the wrong approach. And that's going to keep you exactly where you are today. You have to stop shoehorning people. Okay. Get attached to your audience. Don't get so attached to your product or those or these shoes. Okay that you lose sight of what you're in business to do in the first place. And business is all about, it's the business of problems. It's the business of people. It's a business you solve a problem. That's it. That's all. It's that simple. So that's called the shoehorn syndrome. If you're suffering from the shoehorn syndrome, I would like to know, let me know in the comments. Okay. And if you want to know how to tip, okay, how to tip the law of supply and demand in your favor, you need to get into my program. And all of that information is going to be below. Okay, so there it is. 
Are you suffering from shoehorn syndrome? Let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. Please share this video. And best of success, because it's not about luck. It's about success. So success to all of you. Bye-bye.